was like a playoff game in, in terms of the tightness of the game, maybe limited the amount of chances that's in a regular game uh, because it did mean a lot for both teams. So both teams were organized and playing really well defensively. Um, and the physicality of the first half really disrupted uh, what I would say the rhythm of play in the first half to get either team to get going. There was a lot of uh, elbows going high, uh, particularly on 50-50 challenges. So I, I thought, you know, um, again, it's not an easy job for referee, but I think he's got to remind himself that he, he's, he's the one dictating that stuff, not the players, and remind them if, if they don't behave, then he's got to pull out cards. So I just want to make sure in those situations that he's aware of the stuff going on and a little bit of the extra stuff. And in particular, you know, slowing the game down and getting in front of the ball on free kicks and, and really not allowing us to get a tempo into the game. And particularly in the first half, there weren't a lot of chances, and I, I still think we probably had the better chances in the first half. And we started to get a rhythm. I think we had a nice long ball. Uh, then we, we battled and won the second ball. I think it was Mike trapped it down well. Miguel got in a good offensive position, took a good first touch, and really had him beat. And Pablo has to think about a lot of things. He has to think about, am I off sides? You know, what's the pace of the ball going to be like? How is Miguel going to cross it? Where's the goalie at? Where's the defender at? Between uh, all of that, we didn't quite pull it off, so uh, it wasn't the perfect play. But again, I thought we really put stress on them, and it was one of the better quality chances in the game. The first half ended, you know, and I, I thought we, were, so we did some stuff really well. I thought some other stuff we weren't doing quite as well. We made some adjustments, and I thought we really came out positive in the second half and started to play well. Um, we just had a couple nice waves of attack. We had some good moments of possession. For the most part, we, we were doing well, and we were really building ourselves in the game. But again, you got to get goals to, to win games. And, and credit to the Cosmos. They think they got the first goal in a really tight game. We were a little bit sluggish in terms of getting our shape and getting back into uh, position. But really, it was just kind of the luck of a play off of somebody's back. Uh, the goal scorer was very opportunistic and, and took a touch and you know beat Maddie. So those that happens I and mean, that's a part of the sport and uh, for me that was against the run of play. I, I still thought we responded well and we really fought to try to get back in the game and, and I still think we could have had better movement up top. You know, I, I think our forwards, uh, you know, when it does get slippery and wet like that in the first half, uh, they I think they found it hard at times to come to the game and, and really I think uh, we could have used a little bit more of that uh, you know, energy in the second half in terms of once they, they kind of dried out to really get involved a little bit more. And it's not easy though, I mean a lot of things are happening, a lot of things are changing so quickly. I mean hats off to them, they kept their shape and they kept uh, organized defensively to see the game out. So um, you know, certainly a tough night for us, uh, you know, we held our heads high and, and we're going to try to get better and, and keep going forward.